I like to call these dynamic movement events where it forces the athletes to use some athleticism as lie detectors. This will expose weaknesses, but right now, early on, Stoltman doesn't appear to have any. He's on a roll. Onto the anvil here. He's got a pretty big lead. He's doing an excellent job in his transitions, moving from one object to the next. Here's the 300-pound sack. Takes him a little while to get it turned, but once he does, he uses those powerful arms, big tree trunk legs, and back strength to get it up onto the platform. Perfect form right now for Luke Stoltman, who is nine years older than Trey Mitchell. And if he can seamlessly take this 300-pound sack to the other end, he will win this early matchup. Look at him breathe there. He is huffing and puffing, but the first to complete. Luke Stolman of Great Britain, and then goes over to help out the American. Trey Mitchell, good effort by both guys. Impressive by Mitchell. He was there the whole time competing, but it was Stoltman and his experience that gets it done. Made it look easy in a time of 47.42. And Mitchell was able to get the four objects in 52.96. From start to finish, Stoltman looked in control, but he was really gassed at the end. But he's got to feel really good about this start. So two men have gone, and on to our next pairing. And another man Bishop. from Great Britain in the final. It's Adam Bishop, 6'3", 313, 30 years of age. In the final Canada. for the first time. J.F. Corona of Canada in the world's strongest man of final for the seventh time. The 36-year-old who resides in Quebec City. Ready! Interesting technique there for Caron to start. He had pre-positioned the keg at an angle, which allowed him to pick it up quickly and make it to the platform first. Onto the anvil, and the lead is J.F. Caron. It's a bobble there from Bishop, and that's going to cost him mightily. It's going to cost him big time. That might have cost him this entire event, unless Caron makes a mistake, which he's not prone to do, going to be really hard for Bishop to catch him. The first of the 300-pound sacks is on the platform for Caroni. Jogs back and on to the fourth and final object, another 300-pound sack. Keep in mind, these strongmen are doing this in sand. Look how gassed Caroni is. Focused, his head so red, but he gets it done. J.F. Caroni, impressive. And not bad from Bishop as well as he gets that second sack up on the platform to complete the task. Representing Great Britain, Adam So Adam Bishop. Bishop will currently be in fourth place. Representing Canada. And J.F. Caron goes Carone. in the lead in the loading race. Four objects, a time of 46.92. Endurance played a role, but Caron's steady technique proved to be the difference as we see Bishop there in the background struggling. The wily vet using that experience for success.